Hello my friends and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In yesterday's video, Arthur did play the role of a bounty hunter and <laughs> had some entertainment with that. But in today's video, I do want to make my way out to Emerald Ranch where Hosea is and, and, and hopefully start working on that today. I was tempted to take the stagecoach out there, but I'm I'm, I'm concerned that my horse doesn't follow, so I don't really want to do that. And plus, I don't mind the cinematic mode and, and seeing what random interactions could happen. But anyway, I did ride over here to the show area, and it is still the same Hello. Josiah Blackwater show. So I imagine it takes more than just like one, a day or two for that to update. But anyway, I'm going to slowly make my way out there and bring you back in should something exciting happen. Look who we found! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! And my computer's all getting weird. Uh, we need a health tonic, that's for sure. I know. Oh no! Oh no! Wednesday! We went over the edge! Oh no! There's my dead eye finally working. No, you're doing good, girl. You're good. You did good. That was so horrible. Okay, you probably need... Do we need to give something to my horse? Um, horse stimulant? Horse medicine? I only have one of those. Um... Easy now. You did real good. Ugh, I kept smashing my dead eye button and it wasn't working. I was like, oh no! Investigating. Investigating civilians are marked with a white eye. Where where are they at? I don't see them and I need I need to go back for the bodies. I need to I need to go back for the bodies. Oh, they're moving on it looks like. Oh no, did the bodies vanish? I think the bodies vanished. No. Easy. Whoa. Warren Carbine Repeater. I don't I don't really want that weapon. And I search the saddlebag, I guess. Miracle tonic. Oh man, the body's vanished. I only went around so I could not fall down the side of a mountain. But I guess it was too much to ask. Okay. Let's see, can I search this, um, Q? Q for horse. Um, I guess that's it. Yeah, I know. Well, that's, I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of disappointing. Stupid O'Driscoll boys, always ruining all our fun. 
Like I was enjoying a nice relaxing. You can't turn me in. This ain't just. Just? You robbed and murdered your way across half the country. It's all lies. I ain't never been more than five miles from home. You keep lying. You gonna make me angry, boy. I ain't got a damn thing. What is going on today? Okay, then. Girl. Bounty hunters and Triscoll's trying to ambush me. I wonder though. Hang on. Progress, compendium. Wasn't there something under gangs? I'm so disappointed that I don't get to. <laughs> I'm so messed up. <laughs> I just want to loot their bodies. I mean, seriously, ambushes survived two out of how many? I mean, that's all I got to say. Out of how many? Hideouts found. I'm 55% of the way through whatever progress you're supposed to make with gangs. I don't I quite know what a lot of this stuff means and. I just wish Rockstar was a little bit better about explaining certain things. It, maybe it's just me, but anyway, I'm going to keep heading to Emerald Ranch and I'll bring you back Easy. in if anything else exciting should happen. Please, someone show kindness on a man with no sight. So up now. Oh, I can probably do that, but hang on. I got to say first. All right. I'm ready to help the blind, sir. Maybe on your fortune. Maybe today. Is the beginning of the end. It may be. Hello there, sir. Help a blind man. Oh, sure. I'm all about giving my money there away. You go. Your father is seduced by the one with the forked tongue. It's no use hoping. Uh, sure. Okay, mister. <laughs> all the best now. Hmm. Forked tongue. Okay. Father, Please, I don't... Please. I need to be alone with my thoughts now. Okay. You have fun with that. Wednesday needs a brush to feel better about herself. Your father is something with the forked tongue. I, I would... We don't know anything about Arthur's father that I know of. So I'm guessing we're talking about Dutch or Not Hosea. Mister? Evening. Hi. He was awful friendly. I have fortune tellers in their and they're no nonsense. Oh, 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 it's okay. Go easy, girl. I know, there's a snake over there. We'll we'll, we'll just we'll go around it, okay? It's alright, girl. Good evening, mister. Good evening. <laughs> Looks like a storm's coming. Oh, it's beautiful. We've got smoke. That means people. Let's go see if they're nice people. And I was right. It's it's a storm. A storm was coming. Hello. I ain't looking to share with. Oh, okay. You. All right. All right. Okay. We're going. They're not nice people. Do we have any dinosaur bones? No, I don't see any dinosaur bones. <laughs> you sit down and shut your mouth. Keep clear of the wagon, sir. Ah, sons of bitches. Quiet. You ain't going nowhere. I'll kill all of you. You just shut up back there. So I wonder if you're being a bad cowboy, you would, or a bad, like an evil Arthur playthrough. I don't know how evil it goes, but, um, I imagine you would want to kill the lawman and set the prisoner free. Like, that would be your thing that you would do if you were doing the evil karma playthrough, right? All right. We are nearly there to the place hey, to meet Hosea. I'm hoping it's okay if we started at night. It was really beautiful. It was all cloudy and rainy, and the clouds parted, and the, the moon came out. Pretty awesome. It's an interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. Well, I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never <laughs> met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. <laughs> but I know how to get things done efficiently. Look at me. Why would I lie about this? I, I don't know, Hosea. You're kind of a scammer or some, aren't you? Hello? 
was gonna hitch my horse, but I don't want to go much farther. Okay, well, since I am here with Hosea, I am gonna save again real quick. All right. Oh. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. Uh-oh. I don't want my boss hearing. Uh -oh. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. Okay. It's in their barn. Now you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Now, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. <laughs> yes, I'd love it. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is Wednesday over here, too? Look how convenient that is. Oh, here was the hitching post. Okay. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Yeah. Yeah. Go to Carmody Dell. So we're robbing a carriage, stealing a carriage and robbing a house? Is that what's going on? Where, 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 where is this? Oh my. Oh my. Okay, it's not, I mean, it is a ways away. Let's be honest. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong off. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. Fair if enough. the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, <laughs> we should hang up our hats now. Happy in Ellen type. Just trying to keep my horse on oh, Emerald Ranch. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Mm. Sounds worth a look around. Yeah. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. Oh, did he? How he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. Yeah, not too much about us. Can we cinematic view our way there, please? We can. I do love cinematic view. Except when the O'Driscoll boys ambush me. <laughs> then it's Ooh. less fun. Look, I am right in here, Hosea. Are we almost there? Is that what's going on? Yep, we are almost there. Okay. 
That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. Can I put on my... I, I feel the need to put on my mask. I don't want to get identified. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Old tab are binoculars. Is she anyone? Nope. Okay. Hmm. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Hmm. Uh, night is fine with me. Let's do it now. All right. I reckon we're ready. Let's go. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. Sneak up to Carmody Dell. I'm a sneaking. I'm a sneaking. Let's, let's look in the windows over here, not on the front porch. See anyone there? <gasps> they sleep right there. They're asleep right there. Okay, so they're asleep down there. Let's not go in that door. I've got my mask on. <laughs> so they can't identify me. Rob the house of $45 worth of items. Okay. Um. Money clip. Pearl necklace. King is snake. How about the first the chimney. Everybody sticks money in the chimney, right? Okay, we're good. We can leave. Get out of here. Get on, dear boy. What about the horses? Here we go. This way. Thank you. <laughs> we just robbed these people. Of a lot of money, let's be clear. Bye Wednesday, I'll come back for you, I promise. Come follow me. Keep up. I feel like one of you said I could hitch my horse. Do they just follow? Come on, get on and let's head back. Yeah, can I, um, 
Hmm. Maybe they'll just follow. Just waiting on you, Arthur. I know. I don't know why we are going so fast. It's not like this is a car. <laughs> Nicely done. We got everything we needed. We did. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Best way. Less problems, the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece, and it's a good night's work. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred. Not too bad. Not bad at all. Nope. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. Right? <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. <laughs> I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Yeah. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. No, I think we've learned our lesson there. And a few other lessons besides. I hope so, but I ain't so sure about that. <laughs> so, here's something strange. Okay. James was telling me how he also makes these little trinkets for people from animal claws, teeth, and such like. Oh. Good luck charms. What, like a rabbit's foot? I suppose, but he was claiming they really do work. Oh, really? Don't they all? Oh, he of little faith. I could always use some magical talismans to, you know, help me not die. Look at Wednesday. There's a good girl. Keep it up. Almost okay, there. Here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Um, this one here, I assume. Right. Okay then. Yep. Hello, yeah. Seamus. We met your cousins. How By was it? marriage. Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Um, sure. Sure. Oh, are we gonna fast travel there? I'm not gonna lie, that would be kind of awesome. <laughs> So I take it that means if I happen upon any abandoned stagecoaches, I could now sell them for money? Perhaps? Hold. Jose is very sensitive. He doesn't want me bumping him. But then again, everybody's sensitive. Okay, F1 for details. Hang on. The Spines of America, to prove their business credentials to the Emerald Ranch fence, Seamus Arthur and Hosea attempt to rob a stagecoach from the old Bob Crawford at Carmody Dell. So I didn't get spotted. I loot everything at Carmody Dell. I did not do that. Do that. Deliver the wagon to Emerald Ranch within one minute and 10 seconds. I didn't do that either. I'm okay with it. You now sell stolen wagons to Seamus at the wagon fence in Emerald Ranch. 
In addition to buying stolen wagons, Chainmans runs a fence. This is a fence to sell valuables, buy illicit goods, or craft talismans and trinkets. Ooh. Is there, would there by chance be a thing on the map? There is. Wagon fence. Oh, awesome. I just, I wish, I, I wish there was a, a fast travel. Like, fast travel here. And then you and your horse could be there. And I, I'd be okay if it cost me money. But, like, I know the stagecoach is kind of the only option th that we have right now. Hey, I think my back needs some working over. Well, lie down and I'll get cracking. Uh, I don't think so. All right, well, I should be getting on. See you later. Wait, there... Do you... Are you a chiropractor? Oh, is he just like... Every, oh, everybody's asleep. That's why. All right, well, how about Arthur rests One until morning? When I was frisky From too much to whiskey Like waves on the Bay of Bisky I began to tumble and roar <laughs> My face is red like a lobster I fell and broke my poor knobster. <laughs> my watch from my fob was picked, sir. I never get drunk anymore. Ooh. Wait, there's more. Uh, okay, I'll uh, wait. I'm resolved to try it. I'll live on a moderate diet. <laughs> I'll not drink, but I'll deny it. And I'll shun the alehouse door. For that is where they tell us he meet all the jolly good fellas. And I by the poker and bellas. I'll never get drunk anymore. <laughs> You okay there, sir? Maybe. Are you are you alive? Reverend. Arthur Morgan. Hi. <laughs> a drink in your hand. What a surprise. Just a swift one? <laughs> Just a swift one. Sure. Well, it's your life, not mine. Yep, and all right. All right. Bye. I shouldn't laugh. I really shouldn't. What is this on the ground here? Oh, broken bottles? All right, well, I'm going to sleep till morning. And we'll have a good shave then, I think. Sleep. Uh, till... I guess we'll sleep till noon. Maybe. Perhaps. Then we'll look at the ledger, maybe, and see what's going on there. Have a good shave. See if this five-finger Lenny... Thing. I, it's got to be probably done at a specific time of the day, to be honest. I would imagine that's when it needs to be done. And and now is not that time of day, I guess. Or maybe, I don't know. I, I could probably just Google what the internet would tell me. But um, it's fine. All right, Arthur, you look a little bit better put together. Maybe next time we're in Valentine, I'll let you have a bath. Oh, here we go. How you doing? Good brother, how are you feeling? Much better. I am mighty glad to be out of that cold, Mr. Morgan. Me too. Oh, I am getting too old for this gallivant. <laughs> Me too. <sighs> okay, that's. I, I guess that's it. I made a goddamn fool out of myself. You've done that before. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Tell him, Arthur. Tell him we're okay now. We're okay, Dutch. Jose is right. We're just getting back on our feet. Mm -hmm. You'll get us out of this. We are out of this. We need to keep out of it. So what do you think? We need to make some money and find ourselves an escape route, same as usual. But we are making money. And we will find an escape. We are going to be okay. 
I agree. We'll get some big money and get lost. <laughs> Hello, Arthur. Hi, Dutch. Like you say, this is a big country. We can always get lost. Yes, and we can always make more money. We'll be okay. Okay, well, let's talk more later. We'll talk All more right, later. Now. Bye. I wanted to go check out the ledger. See what a new upgrades I can. How pick. are you? How are you? You seem awful Mr. sober. Mr. Swanson. You, <laughs> you need to, um, his, his, his rear <laughs> is, um, hanging out of his long johns a little bit. <laughs> okay, give item. I think I've got that necklace. So we'll donate that. Maybe. There we go. How does the... I thought I can... Hmm. I thought they would have more money by now. Because I... I went and did that thing and I only got part of it back. But... Okay. 15 cents. 15 cents and I'm done. You know what? It's fine. Okay. Next page. So, to upgrade medicine, we need forty dollars. Provisions, we need thirty-six. And then ammo, we need seventy-two. Let me upgrade all of those. So that's a hundred and forty-eight dollars for all that. So, how about I donate? Can I? Why? why there we go. How about I give money? I'll donate 125 maybe. I don't want to completely wipe out the camp money, but one twenty-five. Okay. Okay. Now a <laughs> good karma. Okay, so let's upgrade these three. So something with a kick increases total supplies, includes tonics to refill all stats, as well as high quality liquors. Quantity and quality of tonics is available at the medicine wagon has increased. You can now pay to resupply the medical wagon when stocks are low. Yeah, I already, I already was doing that, but I can use some of these instead of having to go buy it. And then some real variety. Increases total provisions, adds chewing tobacco and premium canned goods. I should have come here to get stuff for my, for myself instead of buying it in town. Okay, and then the next one. Real firepower increases armory supplies, adds throwing knives, shotgun, and rifle ammo. Okay, perfect. Hmm. So next in line is Arthur. That's two hundred some dollars. But a chicken coop adds nutrition to all camp stews. Dead eye boost when consuming a stew. And then maybe I do. I want to get Arthur a better tent because I'm really interested to see this are, this map situation. But Hello. we'll have to work on that next. And, and I am going to actually pause here today. So in tomorrow's video, I think I want to make my way to, is it Strawberry? <laughs> Over to Strawberry? Is that where Mike is at? Yeah, in Strawberry. <laughs> so I want to make my way out of Strawberry. Explore along the way. Maybe we'll run into some stranger stuff. No doubt get into lots of trouble when Mike is involved, I'm sure. But We'll do all that tomorrow, and as usual, we'll go from there. So as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Red Dead Redemption 2 video.